The skipper has until Thursday morning to trim his six-man squad to a final four-man team. He is struggling to choose who will make the cut, with teenager Lloyd Harris apparently playing the best tennis since the squad got together, leaving the door open for his potential debut. We don't want to just rely on our number one players. We, we can't afford just to, because when they don't make themselves available or there's problems or there's an injury, then everyone panics. So I think it's about a whole team, and that's what I'm trying to bring to the table. Uh, we've got a, a new youngster who we've brought in, Lloyd Harris, in, into the fold. Uh, we've got Wayne Montgomery as well. We've got a lot of youngsters who, who are good, who, who will come into this mix. Ireland captain Karna Neeland said his team has settled in over the last few days after arriving in Centurion on Sunday and he is confident they'll be able to adjust to the high altitude conditions ahead of the three-day fixture. While the visitors boast a stronger outfit based on world rankings, Nealon believes they are in for a tough clash and they need to be prepared. The full-strength Irish team announced last month includes James McGee, Sam Barry and double specialist James Klasky and David O'Hare.